And we are back with episode 11 of the Age of Redemption 2017 mod by Javakus for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last episode we were in the Setai Temple and now we are moving on to the Tower of London with all kinds of spooks and spiders and vampire hearts. Uh, attributes and disciplines. Nothing really on attributes for Kristoff, but a lot of level 5. We got Blood Healing level 5. Heightened Senses is still at 4. Fortitude's at 5 now. Theft of Vitae is at 5. Call of Lightning is at 5. Prison of Ice is at 4, which we'll probably need later on at the end of this episode. Serena. Same situation. Blood Healing 4 now. We're at 80 stamina. 4 Heightened Sense. 4 of the Plague Wind Black Death, 5 of Fortitude. Finally got some port, uh, points into Lure of Flames for her. I got 3 of 5 for Flame Ring Emulate and Firestorm, which is pretty good. I was meant to do that a long time ago, but just never got around to it. I was doing a bunch of other stuff, but Serena is in a good spot right now. Pink, Cloak of Shadows, Cloak, Cloak of the Gathering to 3. All up it to 5 eventually, once I get enough XP. Other than that, I did give him a little bit more manipulation, and that's about it for him. And then Lily, stamina 5, because I like all my characters to be tanky. Blood healing 3, and that's about it. Uh, I did do some vendoring, lots of vendoring, and these guns here are vendoring for a ton of money. I was able to sell two of them, I believe, and they sold well over 10k gold so i was able to equip all of my characters with full discipline items which worked out great uh, i did switch the discipline uses to liberal for all of my characters as well as the uh, enemies as well just to kind of balance it a bit so now discipline should be shooting out a lot more uh, where's my rain there's supposed to be rain right now i guess when you alt tab you lose it uh, so that's about it. Full discipline items. Going to be using a lot of blood from now on for the rest of the game. Uh, since I can afford it now, since my discipline costs have been lowered greatly. Um, so going into this, I got a ton of incendiary ammo, which we're going to need for the tanky wraiths. As well as some standard ammo. I'm actually going to equip my standard ammo to start with. Because the first level, I'm pretty sure does not have any rates, so I want to make sure that everyone is using normal if they have it. Um, and I have her carrying some extras too, because I'll probably need it later on since rates take forever to kill. That is about it. Let's go ahead and move in. The Tower of London. This place has gone downhill. I guess old Anne Boleyn ain't got much of an head for housekeeping. <laughs> A great evil has been done in this place. The walls cry out in a silent scream. I feel the presence of the dead. Let us hurry. I have no wish to meet the wraiths that walk this bloody tower. They should have changed that voice line to Serena. That'd be really cool if she said that she could sense the presence of the dead and whatnot. Goes right up her alley. me return to me Okay, so as you can see, that's going to kind of be my strategy for this first level here until we get to the raids is we're going to use Cloak the Gathering to move freely into the rooms and kind of get into an open area so we're not dealing with friendly fire and whatnot. And then I'll turn on offensive stance so my coldery can shoot any ghoul spiders that's in the room since they do an auto target. You don't have to wonder where they're at because they spawn... I think they're invisible until they actually spawn and then they have like a graphic where they drop down. So we're going to take advantage of the animation and hopefully kill them all before they even drop. Because the ghoul spiders, well, they have very low HP and they die really quick. They actually do hit kind of hard.
Got some more light enhancement goggles, which is great. We do have the Nosferatu coming up here pretty soon. And I believe that is it for stealth enemies coming up in the game. So we will use these up until then. And once we finish that, we'll probably move into uh, helmets that actually do soak damage. Return to me. Okay, we got an early riot shield, that's good. Sneaky little ghoul crept up on me there, almost got Lily. And that's kind of why I like to have high stamina as quick as you can 80 and 100 is a good number because no matter what you get hit by you'll survive it more or less even if you don't have very good armor which we don't really at this moment attend me Man, that, <laughs> that set I just got absolutely obliterated. We got pink here near Frenzy. I need to kind of keep an eye on this. Uh, looks like we got a bug set tight here. Um, let's see, one, two, yeah. I did have three. Let me see, get rid of that set tight. He's not supposed to be there. And then we'll grab you. Looks like we got potents. All right, uh, we will give that to Lily. I guess why not? Sure, why not? Attend me. Another light enhanced goggles. Awesome. Looking good. That's exactly what we're wanting. Okay, it looks like that is it for one. Worked out pretty easy there. Let's do a quick ammo check. Got plenty there. Looks like I'm on my last magazine for NATO standard. And then we'll start moving into incendiary. I do believe this is where rates start getting thrown at you now. These, I guess when you move into a new room, these reset their animation. That's interesting. Return to me.
Alright, looks like... Why did you use Shambling Whores on a Wraith? That's interesting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say no. And I'm going to have you use your own Wraiths. I think that's better, because I don't want them porting around. And it looks like we're using center ammo now. I got 160 shots. I cannot buy additional assault rifle ammunition uh, from Odo, not in London. So this is expended, and then I'll have to swap to a different weapon if I get there. Uh, the AI on these wraiths can be extremely annoying, as you can see. You can't, like, here's one right here. I can't, let me turn off my cloak. So, they actually spawn. Okay, I'm feared now. Wonderful. So, like, they're, they're finicky. You can't target them all the time, and they fear you. Like, here, I can't target it until they attack me first. And there's an item that you can use. I believe that Javaka said that there's a item that you can use to make them easier to target and stuff, but the problem is is it's non-kindred only, so you can't really use it in modern, or in uh, single player, from what I know of, that is. Okay, oh, oh dear. Kill this, please. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to be jumping into a room here with a ton of wraiths. I need to be careful. I'm actually going to use Serena, I think, for this room. Drink a little blood here. Um, pink are okay. I don't want to drink it yet because he's got a limited supply of blood because he's kindred only. I'm uh, going to use Serena here with some fire disciplines. Actually, let me change my bar up a little bit here. I want you... Don't really want Emily. Emily's good, but yeah, I guess that'll work. And then one, two, three, without that. Looks good. Come unto okay, let's do this. Come unto me. I'm just getting feared over and over. I can't really do anything about this right now. There we go.
I think that call lightning's doing work. I'm not 100% sure, but they're dying. So, uh, let's check out my ammo here. 106 shots in reserve, 185 there, 107 there, and two. Okay, we're looking good. Defend me. Uh, looks like we missed an enemy or two or three or five or a whole room maybe even. Let's go see if we can find it. Here it is, it's a wraith room, wonderful. And me. Yeah, I'm gonna get feared into oblivion here. Wonderful. Off his frenzied. I want to get away from that. Let him do his thing. Let him calm down or die. One of the two. Holy cow. Listen to that. Pink, what the hell are you doing back here? I shall depart. I do withdraw. Stop. Okay, finish these up. It looks like Kristoff's finally calming down a little bit, but he has the bug again that we've experienced before. Which is, uh... To me. A little frustrating, he has a hundred strength, <laughs> he shoots like a bat out of hell, and he's bugged. I don't think it goes away either. So, in that case, I'm going to console kill him, because I find that very unfair. So, console, kill me. And then, revive. And we're back to normal. Okay. Turn that back on. Let's get some buffs, and I'll theft a V tape. A uh, something. Return to me. I think that bug might have to do with multiple applications of frenzy going on a target while they're being frenzied because there's two debuffs that the target gets so i think it's like overlapping the frenzy and it's screwing it up allowing it like when one fades the other one stays on permanently or something that's a guess i don't know i'm not a coder like javakas but uh 
just my educated guess, something like that. Literally having to take off Cloak of Shadows just because these rates just don't do anything and you can't kill them, you can't target them until they actually target you. It's just really frustrating. I hate the AI of the rates. One thing I do like though is the animations for the uh, Tower of London. You got the spooky tapestries and the sound of the wind flapping and the background of the lightning. I always like that. Kind of a really cool touch that they added. I do believe we have a secret room coming up here. Where are these? Oh, I guess there's some shaman horror targets over there. I think we got a secret room right around the corner here. Take off cloak. So they'll actually attack us so we can attack them. Come on. So it's just so annoying. Inventory getting a little full here. Let's do a quick little management here. Return to me. A lot of big items. Usually it's not the case here. Usually I can leave this place without having to do a vendor run. Attend me. I guess that's one way to do it. Just hit him with a shit ton of lightning. Can I get rid of something first? 
We got another wraith room here. It looks like we're about exhausted on ammunition as well. I only got 36 shots left. Then we'll have to swap to a different weapon. I still think we got plenty of reserve pistol ammo, which we do. I refuse to carry any so I'll be spoiled. using that. Attend me. Looks like we're almost done though. We got a. Uh, this is the end of the area. I'm pretty sure. So. Return to me. I refuse to carry any more spoils. Can I get rid of something? First? My burdens prevent further comfort. Behold, Lucretia's heart. A bloody heart. Yes! Let's steal it! No, we need it. Let us return to the Temple of Seth. Mayhap Lucretia will be more agreeable now. Return to me! Me. 
Pinned me. And look at that, I'm out of ammo. Perfect. Perfect amount of what I needed. Uh, so we are going to swap to a pistol. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just about out of room. Literally out of room here. So let me give her that. Take that. And it looks, if I remember correctly, we have a friend we have to face. Outside. We have a friend outside to face. Okay, here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, these have a regeneration as well as really high damage and really high resilience in AOR. Um, we may need a weapon to actually kill this thing. First things first, I'm gonna try to kill it on my own and see if that works. If not, we may have to uh, result to buying a silvered weapon to kill this thing because in Age of Redemption 2017, the werewolves have a high regeneration rate as well as huge resilience. So let's see how this... Actually, now that I think of it, I might as well demonstrate it. So let's go ahead and before we set that guy off, I am actually going to walk the abyss here. Can't walk the abyss here. Okay, I'll go inside then and walk the abyss. I'm going to walk the abyss here go around the werewolf so I can prepare. I'm not gonna vendor anything yet. Still got all my stuff here. But I'm gonna go to Sumner's and buy a silvered weapon and I'll use it with Kristoff to fight this thing. Hopefully I can buy one. I should be able to buy one. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, it looks like he's got a broadsword and a dagger. Dagger might actually be good too, um, but... I think I'm gonna go with just the standard broadsword, silvered broadsword, and see how that goes. Hmm. Or do I want the dagger? Do I want to play with the dagger? I like daggers. Hmm. How about both? Let's buy both. I'll get the dagger and the sword. So silver dagger. Actually, I'm. Let me. Uh, my inventory's full here. Uh, let me go ahead and Good drop day. some stuff here, and I'll come back later and deal with this. Okay, drop that. Get rid of these. Because I want to come back and vendor all this stuff before I leave town. Okay, and then pistol can go there, and then I guess I can just move all this stuff over. Not a big deal. Move this stuff over. Just bear with me. Get rid of something first. I refuse to carry. 
carry any more spoils. My love. I refuse to carry any more spoils. Good day. My burdens prevent further cumbrance. Hello? Good day. My burdens prevent further cumbrance. Can I get rid of something first? <laughs> I refuse to carry any more spoils. I refuse to carry any more spoils. Okay, sorry about that. I should have cut that. Oh well. Let's uh let's try this out. Actually, I'm going to swap this up. I'm going to give Pink the sword because he has celerity and potence. And I'll have uh, Lily shoot the gun. Why not? And then Kristoff will attack with celerity and potence as well. And we'll try to cut this guy up. Gonna do a quick save here just in case this fails miserably. Oh yeah, that thing shredded him. Jesus. Wow. All right. And why not? I'm going to pick you up, sir. You are going to be my little toy. Wow. Silvered weapons do the job. I think that was pink, too. I don't think I did anything there. I didn't get a chance to attack him. I was I got knocked up in the air and staggered and I think pink went over and just smacked him in the face. Wow. Oh, well, I'm here. I'm going to just sell a few items just so I have some inventory space. Return to me. I'm not going to do a full vendor, of course, because we're about done here. So, I'm just going to oh, here comes a werewolf. I'm going to have a uh, pink just vendor some of the crap he has so I can make some room here What what do you want?
get lost. Right, I don't have any ammo. Um, I guess I can buy a little ammo just to get me by for the next fight coming up here. Um, let's see, what do I got? I can't buy assault rifle. I can get that once I'm in New York. I guess pistol will do it. I'll take that and then buy some pistol ammo here. What? What do you want? Get lost. To me. All right, let's go talk to Lucretia. I'm wondering how potent this Shambling Horde is going to be because werewolves regenerate. And they have a ton of resilience. I think it's going to be like my permanent tank if I can hold on to it forever. Come this way. You may go down to the temple. Attend me. Once again, I love the music in modern day. This boss fight's sick. Now give me a good reason to put a snake right through your bloated blood pump. Lucretia, thou wilt free Lily from her blood bond. Very well. Lily, you're free to go. Now thou wilt tell us where we may find the Zanitsi, the Giovanni, and the contraband from Prague. I don't know about the Zanitsi or Giovanni. We just load ships. All I can tell you is that the next ship out is the Saint Magdalena. Emigrating Sabbath and the sacred earth of Prague. Now give me the heart, and I'll let you leave in peace. Pink, thou shalt return her heart. No way! We have to check her info first. She could be lying. Nay. Such a lie would cost her death. Maybe she knows you're a softy. We came here seeking knowledge of the shipments. We have that, so let us go. Okay. Here.
Hey, he really likes to resist that the Vitae. Trying to drain him the blood so he can't use his or hers. But man, it's uh, not working right. Just resisting everything. There's a freeze. And yeah, I was right, this this uh, werewolf is really tanking like crazy. Um, I'm trying to get the blood out so she can stop healing, but really resisting here. Really resisting. There we go, got that one. No more blood. Okay, so now she can't heal. Looks like I'm out of ammo. Yep, out of ammo. It's not good. Okay, so, nice little, man, fucking Cobra soak is insane, Jesus. Okay, so I have a choice here. Um, I can drain it, get the powers, lower humanity, be addicted to Kindred Vitae. There's a new thing that we have to deal with in Age of Redemption 2017 is um, if I do drain the blood, I become addicted to the Kindred Vitae, which isn't that big of a problem because... I have Theft of Ite anyway, so I don't really need anything to feed unless I want the buffs, which I don't really need at this point in the game. So, I could, it doesn't really matter, but, and I don't really, I, sometimes I use Skin of Adder this playthrough, I'm not really going to play with it much anymore. Um, so, I think I'm just going to destroy the heart, save the humanity. It, it, this decision doesn't really matter to me in this playthrough, so... I think I'm just going to destroy it. I shall destroy this heart and end forever the wickedness of this foul priestess. I told you we should not give the heart to such a one as she.
Okay, so that was a lot. Um, unfortunately, we lost the werewolf. That was unfortunate. And I think the only reason why we lost the werewolf is because we lost Serena. I probably should, should have taken control of Serena there and allowed her and like manually used her so I could keep her alive. So she didn't actually die because she was on the front line, which shouldn't have been a thing. I was, it's kind of my fault. So I'll take the blame for that one and just let it go. Um, just due to the poor play, but I'm really interested in the soak of some of these enemies. Oh, some revolver rounds there. Um, I don't remember last playthrough that I did a few months ago, her taking that much to kill. It might be on hard difficulty, I don't know. I'll have to check. I don't think I changed it to hard, um, but I definitely, that definitely, like, took a lot to get down, and it sapped all my ammo so i can just i think i'm going to take this consideration to uh you know make sure i have plenty of ammo going to these big fights and um also lily wasn't equipped with a weapon that was another thing i think she had a weapon but it just i just went into this very unprepared so as soon as we jump into uh new york here hopefully we can make things a little better not to mention we'll be able to buy assault rifle ammo, so that would be nice too. But yeah, not really happy with how I played uh, London, especially after the Tower of London. There at the end, wasn't very happy with how I performed. So hopefully we can clean this up a bit. Blood bond is gone. All because of you, Kristoff. And you too, Pink. Ugh, I never knew the smog of London could smell so good. Whither wilt thou go, fair Lily? I have nowhere to go. I came to London from New York looking for my sire, Alexandra Ruthven. She disappeared three years ago. Maybe she was just tired of your whining. Kristoff. I owe you a bigger debt than I can pay. Thou hast done yeoman service. I discharge thee of all duty. I discharge your ass too. Bother off! I'll gladly travel with you, Kristoff, and fight by your side, and do whatever I can for you. Oh, just what we need. Some moistened Tory She wants them, man. She wants them. gents club. Bruja only. You are most welcome to join us, Lily. Thank you, Kristoff. I like that very much. I'd love to go with you for as long as you'd have me. Yeah, I'm leader and I say no. I would be honored to have thee. That Toriador's strength may yet help us find my beloved Aneska and restore her to me. Oh, yeah. Anything you want, Kristoff. Big oof. Friend zoned. Alright. We're going to go ahead and jump on the boat. I think I have everything I need to have. I don't think I dropped anything. If I did, oh well. Um, so let's go ahead and push into New York here. up with this AI. <laughs>
got to set up an FBI raid on Alessandra's warehouse. They'll find everything. The guns. The heroin. The Prague contraband. Everything. Please. Oh, be damned. The cops are Interpol. What is this Interpol? Kind of an international police force. Look, I changed their IDs to look like us. Cool, huh? Might come in handy once we reach the Big Apple. The Tories finally pulling a weight. I could use someone like you. <laughs> I like how the, the goggles show up there at the end. Special Agent George Thor, FBI. Let's see some ID now. You're late. Doesn't Interpol teach you to be on time? Good disguises. Or is that what everyone in Europe is wearing now? Samuel voice, by the way. Have to work undercover. So what did you learn? The big boss is Alessandro Giovanni. Thou must, you must attack his warehouse. There you shall find weapons, opium, and the contraband of Prague. Good job. We've had our eye on Alessandro for a while. His warehouse is like a fortress, but our central computer recently cracked his security. We've got the access codes to his fortress safely stored in our secure offline database at FBI headquarters. Now we can raid the place before Alessandro can destroy the evidence. Thanks. Now make yourself scarce before someone sees you. Get back to Europe on the next ship. We shall join thy raid. Uh, thanks, but you've been compromised. We heard your cover got blown after your ship left London. Actually, I'm amazed you survived the trip. They put a hit on you and intended to kill you at sea. No, don't worry about the raid. We've got it under control. Now get lost. I must be a good influence on you, you old holy warrior. I got you lined to the coffers like a pro. I lied for Aneska, not thee. And what manner of beast is this central computer that it can besiege fortresses? Wow, but you've got a lot to learn. Well... Time to find the local Lex and start calling in favors to get access to that FBI computer. Hey, get out of here before you compromise my surveillance. Hey, get out of here. I like how they use Samuel's voice and then Samuel's like right up here. Spoiler alert. Nosferatu. Like we couldn't figure that out from that sphincter you wear for a face? Be still. This is Pink, this is Lily, and I am Christoph. Thank you. Thank all of you. Man, I should never have come to New York. This place is filthy with Sabbat. I was jumped by my own coterie who got turned to the Sabbat. I was sure I was worse than dead. The Sabbat are turning any vampire they find. They think the world will end this coming New Year's Day. When the calendar turns to the year 2000, they think some ancient evil will rise and kill all the antediluvian vampires. What a load of rot. 
Every baby lick knows it's the aunties who are going to eat us. Are you sure? That's what they said. I heard it a couple of times. Ah, you couldn't hear a thing out of those cauliflowers you got for ears. Nay, this is familiar to me. Perhaps wise Ekaterina hath awakened me to stop our ancient foe. I think pus bag here has infected your brain, Chris. I owe you all a life boon. I'll gladly join you and fight your enemies. Oi, oi, hold on. Who said we'd take you? This is a private club for proper ladies and gents only. Oh, shut up, Pink. I'll never work with a stinky nossy. Peace, Pink. I require allies. <sighs> you better pull your scrawny weight, Wrinkles. What can you do besides stink up the place? Well, Pink, I can help you keep your knuckles from dragging on the pavement. Oh, ha, ha. Samuel, aren't thou versed in the lore of the central computer? Uh, no. But I know someone who does. Dev No. He lives here in New York. He's a completely brilliant hacker. Oh, but he's no Cavian. Well, forget it then. Coward! Come on! Look! I'm gonna kick you right in your Sir Anthony Blunt if you call me that again. I just mean we ought to get someone who won't barf all over his keyboard and poke out his own eyes while we watch. Malkavian or not, we shall go to this dev now. I can see you never dealt with a Malkavian before. I shall learn. Samuel, take us hence. Dev Null was a brilliant hacker. He was the first mortal to hack into the Malkavian Madness Network on a computer. That's its weird psychic mass mind the Malkavians had. So we embraced him. Nobody knows if that was a reward or a punishment. Okay, um, well first off, of course, everyone loves the, once you're in modern day New York, because you get to deal with the old Dev Null. Uh, if you notice there, as Samuel was walking from here to there, there was a voice line that was delivered uh, that's usually not in the normal game. Javok has put that in there, and uh, it's interesting because the line delivery lines up perfectly from walking from here to there without any cut or anything like that. It just worked out perfectly how that was implemented. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the shotgun here. My inventory is pretty much full, though. Hopefully I can throw it to somebody. I can. Grab some shotgun shells. Grab some shotgun shells. Okay. And uh, let's go have some fun with Devnil, everyone's favorite. No, these are my friends. Have you come from nowhere or from the air one? Dev No, it's me, Samuel. I am not Dev No. I am just a man of tick tock. Oh, okay, sure. I'm Samuel. Remember? You are not Samuel. You are Samuel and a triune entity. <laughs> this triune entity is Kristoff, Pink, and Lily. Say hi to him. Hi, Chris, or is it Maliki? Hi, Pink. That's a my stupid name. Hi, Lily. Tell Mom's at the Southern Bar of Clay. Delight to meet all you John Doe's and Jerry Doe's. Uh, what a gormless natter. Let's get out of here. Bye. Don't use your knife, Kevin. I mean, Kabar. Or they'll rebuke ya. Hoo hoo. Yuck. <sighs> Actually, for him, this is pretty lucid. Dev, no. We need some help. I'm not Dev, no. I am a rock. I'm a rock. We seek thy aid in unearthing Giovanni lore from the FBI's central computer. Canst thou do such a thing? Uh, no. What a conquer. That's it. I'm leaving. Samuel, you worthless Nazi. Just wait, Pink. The site you mentioned is entirely cut off from outside access by use of a separate network backbone that connects the system across the country and prevents unauthorized access. <laughs> anyway, that's what Parr says. Oh, okay. Handle with care. You have to slip this Mickey into their Campbell's chocolate fish soup of the sewers, huh? What? Their big ocean of data, hmm? Then I can catch the codes in my net, or my unnet. 
or my unmet. It's rickety and empty and waiting for temporary data from the NYPD or the MPD. I forget which. This is a data tap. We have to put it on the police computer and it'll beam their data to Deb Null. I am not Deb Null. I am just a lick. A smart alec. <laughs> Where and shall we attach this data tap? Randomly. By chance. Or in the police sewers on FBI CC line number 204. Sounds easy. But then you have to get away. Free as a jay. Scott free. Hope you are loaded for bear. Or alligator. <laughs> so you can set up my gator land. Local area network. Ah. I've heard that the sewers all around police headquarters are controlled by an unfriendly Nosferatu called the Underprince. He uses alligators against intruders. So take us to him. Um, no, I can't. He's a bot. Ah, stealth mission then. You're gonna trust this grinning loony? Ralph Fink is spooked by this mask of Cheshire whimsy. <laughs> Devno, we owe thee a boon. What dost thou wish in return? Mm, me dost wish for, like, peace on Earth and stuff? And a player to be named later. Thou seeks nothing in return for thy service? Return? Yes. Please, return when finished. Vamp till ready. Find the fee. Could it be that a kindred doth provide help for no gain? Oh, well, he is completely nuts. Let us go. See you later, Devnell. Derf. Hurry, hurry. I've got to make the quarter. Give no quarter, get no quarter. Fiscal years bring rains and tears. Oh, dear. So cry, my Harlequin saint, as you visit the low Sierras of the police sewers to whisper my gremlin into the curves of FBI CC line number 204. All right, there's Devnell. Um... You notice if you listen carefully or li listen to some of the things he says, some of it actually makes sense uh, based on the story, what's going on. And there is some Easter eggs in there as well when it comes with the future of the story as I move through. He actually knows a lot that's going on. And if you kind of read up on that, you can find out that, yes, he does actually know a lot. Uh, so we need to go down to the sewers and attach our data tap to FBI CC line number 204. Before you do that, though, we're going to go get some equipment and stuff. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Um, but before I do that, I want to introduce a new feature with AOR 20, or 20, yep, 2017, and that is you can swap Serena for Samuel. To do that, all you do is you click Samuel, 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 and now he is in your party. I'm actually going to steal his blood bags. Hope he doesn't mind. I will use Samuel for this playthrough for about five minutes. I have no interest of running him. Um, but really, he could be just a clickish, click the gathering bot. But Pink and Wilhelm should have that covered permanently. Um, and the main reason why is I think Wilhelm has higher XP and more stats than Samuel completely, as does, of course. Serena, because she's been in the game the whole time. So, no interest of running Samuel. So, I'm going to grab her back. He can stay there. And then I will actually be back for him later once I get these sewers clear so we can attach the data tap. Let's uh, watch a couple more cutscenes and we'll call it. Anything bigger? Okay. You want to see the special stock, huh? Modified these myself. Phosphorus round, auto loading, the works. It's a beautiful thing. I get your kind in here sometimes. Mostly those mobster bloodsuckers. Hey, I don't give a damn what you are. Believe me, I've seen worse in my day. All right, take her easy. Hey, hey, check this out. Hey, hey take her the easy. the most beautiful things you ever seen. All right, so with Hank Winchester, we have access to everything we could possibly want for the rest of the game, which is great. 
I'm gonna go talk to Amelia and then we'll be done, I think. Greetings to the shop owner. I am Kristoff. Hello, gorgeous. I hope you see something you want. We wish to see thy wares. I'll bet you do. I wouldn't mind to look at your wares, too. We've got a whole line of magic supplies, from ancient relics to new age objects. Ha! Old Kristoff is an ancient relic. So perhaps I require knowledge of thy new age. Anything you want. But I don't know what your friend is talking about. You don't look a day over 300, and you look damn good. As do thy items and oddments. We would know thy prices. Okay, if that's all you want. Here's what I got. And I don't think there's any different between this one and Sumner other than she offers blood. Kindred blood, for example, for pink. So. I'm sure you have to go so soon. Well, take care of yourself. I bid you greetings again, Amelia. Kristoff, oh, wonderful to see you again. How oh, exciting. Help yourself to anything you want. Blessed be. All right, that was a, actually, yeah, that was a fairly decently long episode. Uh, we saw a lot of stuff. We failed a few times. And now we are in New York ready to drop into the sewers and try to attach a data tap to the FBI computer. We will save that for next time. In the meantime, I'm going to vendor some stuff here and at Hank's. Get my characters already back uh, up to what they were. Probably go grab a couple of blood dolls for the Haven for Devnell's apartment. And next time we are here, we'll drop down the sewers. So until we'll see you next time, have a good one.